Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Hey, look at you. you can kind of see me in the reflection. Anyway, I wanted to take a moment here to make a little review and demonstration of this massive power supply I picked up. Now, this is a Tech Power TP50SW, and it is uh, pretty much top of the line. And I'm thankful I picked this thing up used, but it looks like it's brand new. I mean, it came in the box, the original box, paperwork, and wrapping, and everything. So, really nice unit. And as you can see, it's got some pretty nice functions, a lot different than the power supplies that I'm used to using. Now, the biggest power supply I had up until this point was only a 19 amp from Radio Shack, which I picked up on clearance when they were going out of business. Before that, I had the 7 amp and a 3 amp from Radio Shack. So uh, this is way big step up. And if you've seen my other video on the RCI 2970, you'll know why it is that I went and picked this thing up. I needed uh, something that could handle that kind of amperage, uh, that kind of wattage. So the RCI is capable of putting, I think, 250 watts downrange. And I wanted to make sure that I had a power supply capable of letting it do its thing. So uh, here we are, and I'll go ahead and turn this thing on. You'll get to see some of the cool functions. I really like this. Like I said, not an inexpensive amp uh, or power supply, but uh, totally worth it. Uh, yeah, it even makes the lights flicker a little bit when she powers up. But uh, one thing I really dig is this lighted gauge here and it does do volts and amperage let me go ahead i'll switch it to volts and uh, right now this switch over here you can see it's lining up right here with 13.8 volts which is beautiful well there's a switch over here that allows you to do either 13.8 or you can go to adjustable and there i am at 9 volts so i can i can crank it up and put it like you know if i want to do you know say 12.4 well there's 12.4 right there so that's a really neat function if you have some equipment that's uh, you know very well, let's say you have some antique stuff you don't want to damage or overdrive. You can definitely use the adjustable. But for most folks, the 13.8 will get the job done just fine. And I really do like that feature. Another feature that I really like, luckily I don't have uh, that much of a need for here, is the noise offset. So if you have line noise coming into your house, you can use this to offset the harmonics coming in from the power line. So that was really cool. I like that. And I'm sure on uh, an HF rig uh, that that would be a real big asset to be able to get that out of there so that that was really cool and then another function this has if i flip this little switch right here down now you see the gauge drops down to zero but it actually on the bottom scale has amperage draw so let's say i'm using the rci 2970 that i got here uh, and i key down and i uh, want to talk to somebody and i've got this thing turned all the way up to full power and i can actually see how many amps i'm drawing so i'm not either overdriving the power supply or underdriving the uh, radio itself so that's really nice I'm definitely liking all these functions. So uh, really just overall, very cool piece of equipment. It even has the old cigarette lighter plug. So if I want to do testing on smaller radios, which I always do, you know, I love picking up radios at yard sales and stuff like that. Um, overall, just a really cool thing. And I, I don't know much about tech power, but this is the first uh, component I've ever purchased from them. But so far, i got to say, I'm super happy with it. Now, uh, like I said in my other video there where I introduced you to my 10 and 12 meter setup, Oh, gee whiz, you know, I mean, if I guess I'm going to have a 50 amp power supply and I've got the antennas up on the roof and uh, I guess all I need now would be an antenna tuner and an HF rig and I'd be all the way back into ham radio. And, and I know a lot of you out there have kind of bashed me for, you know, not, not uh, maybe speaking highly of ham all the time, but it's certainly not that I'm not a ham fan. It's just that I got out of it uh, a long time ago and trying to get back into it can end up being quite expensive. Uh, like this it was quite expensive. If you're going to play with the big boys, you got to big buy big toys, and big toys cost a lot of money. I had to spend a whole lot just to get this uh, in order to get a radio that I got uh, for free to work. So <laughs> sometimes, sometimes free is expensive, isn't it? It's funny how it works out in life. But you know what? I needed an excuse to purchase something like this and get back into the game. And uh, thanks to a fellow YouTuber named Dallas. Uh, I'm in the game. So uh, 10 and 12, I'll be on. I'll be on the ham bands at 10 and 12. And, uh, well, hope to hear you out there. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I wanted to go over this Tech Power TS50SW. And I think uh, I really am enjoying it. I think you would, too, if you decide to purchase something like this. You won't be disappointed. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Take care. There's always something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farm. Sweet.